Okay, we are deep into summertime and I wanna know how are you feeling about dinner time? Do you feel like you're in a rut? Do you feel like you're handling it okay? Are you maybe hitting the drive through more than you want to? Let's get that under control today. This is One Unified Home where you can come for ideas and community around simplifying life at home, getting that to-do list done so that way you can focus more of your time and your money, building those relationships relationships at home and having more fun together as a family so if that's kind of like the lifestyle that you're looking for if that's your goal then definitely hit subscribe so we can hang out more and figure things out together so we are talking dinner time today so a couple quick things that I think will totally help you is number one I love using slow cookers on days where we're gonna be out of the house so maybe I'm running errands that would be a great day to have a slow cooker because dinner's ready as soon as you get home or maybe you're out having fun so days where we are gonna be at the beach all day maybe we're going to the zoo maybe we're going on hikes maybe we're gonna go hang out at grandpa and grandma's house and go swimming those are other days that I love to have a slow cooker so I can start it in the morning and then it's pretty much ready as soon as we walk in the door so it's faster than fast food and it's gonna save you a ton of money so I use our app, which is called the Eat Together Meal Planner app. It is the best meal planner app, and we have the most delicious and super affordable meals. So like a lot of our recipes work out to be about a dollar per serving. Our family used to spend over a thousand dollars a month on groceries every single month. Now we've cut back down and we're close to around $600 a month. And that's all because of meal planning. So if you're more intentional, it's gonna save your sanity, especially here in the summertime, back to school time, totally yes. And then um, having it already done for me. So all I have to do is open up the app. I have the meal plan ready to go. Maybe I swap something out or move something around because of our family's taste, our family's schedule. But Eat Together makes it so it's completely customizable. So you can swap things out, move things around, and then, and then, the grocery list is updated for you. So you know those other um, meal plan subscriptions that you might have tried? And it has those set grocery lists. And so if you are like, oh, well, I don't want the fish tacos anymore well then the grocery list is completely obsolete because you don't need that um you don't know which ones are tied to whatever anyway so the app makes it super super easy so i just wanted to tell you about that we'll leave a link to it down in the description and you can get a free trial if you sign up for the annual subscription you get a seven day free trial and you get 50 percent off so it's pretty amazing pretty amazing for sure okay so another tip is to kind of look ahead through your week so what we've been doing this summer is hubby and I have like five or six things that we've written down in like a Google note and we say, okay, are you ready to plan the week? And so once we're both ready to sit down and plan the week, there's a few things we go through. And one of the things on there is like, of course, like we still have sports going on in the summer, um, fitting my work hours in hubby's work hours in cause we both work from home. And then we also have on there having fun together as a family. So we're trying to do two to three out of the house activities every week. So looking at our schedule and figuring out, okay, what days are going to be more busy? What days will I have more time to cook at home? Um, but again, I almost every single night am using these eat together meals because they are super, super fast. So like the longest it's going to take me is 20 minutes and we still have tons of variety and tons of flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up the app, look at the week that I'm planning for. It gives you a whole month at one time, but I, but you can also use it a week at a time, two weeks at a time, however you want to do it. The other thing you want to do is think through if you're going to actually be home. So we are traveling a ton this month. So I'm looking out at this week and we're not going to be home Monday and we're not going to, and we're going to be. We're not gonna be home Tuesday, but we're getting home Wednesday. So you wanna think through, okay, is there something that I could have all the ingredients in my fridge and freezer ready to go? So here's an idea for you if you're in the same scenario. Um, Cause I, where we live, we don't have time or we don't feel like we want to stop and do a grocery pickup order on our way home. I usually like to do that the first full day we're home. So one of my go-tos is um, grilled cheese and smoothies because you can keep milk in your freezer, you can keep fruit in your freezer, you can keep spinach in your freezer, 
all these things so you can just pull the milk out let it defrost a little bit or maybe you have a fresh gallon of milk before you leave and if you're only gone for a week it's still good or whatever or you just use juice juice stays really stays good in your freezer so i have um all of those yummy um vitamins and minerals in the smoothie and then we do grilled cheese you can keep your bread in the freezer and your cheese will stay good for a long time in your fridge so all of those things i can buy ahead of time pull the grocery list buy ahead of time and they're ready to go so that's what we're gonna have on wednesday um the day we get home just gonna pull everything out of the freezer right when we get home it'll defrost for a couple minutes and then we can make dinner no problemo then um, Thursday, we are going to dive right back into sports. So I want a slow cooker meal because we're not going to get home until 6.30, meaning, um, or no, we're not going to get home until 7. So I want to make sure that we have a meal that we can, um, that'll be ready right away. So we're going to actually do slow cooker ribs. Have you tried that? If you do slow cooker ribs, they literally fall off the bone. It's so good. The recipe I have in there for you is super easy if you want to try that one out. Um, okay, and then on that Friday, we're going to do um, grilled balsamic chicken. This is a recipe from my childhood. I've changed it a little bit to use like clean ingredients, so, but it's still equally delicious. So it's um, balsamic vinegar, Italian seasonings, you grill it, serve it with a side of rice and um, like either a grilled veggie from your garden maybe, or a side salad. And then, ooh, we haven't had this one in so long. This is our slow cooker creamy buffalo chicken bowl. So sometimes I like to do slow cooker meals on the weekend. I will either plan to eat out, plan to eat leftovers, or do what we call a pantry night. Usually on the weekends, I don't cook, but we'll be have traveling for like a week, almost, almost the whole month we'll be traveling. So a lot of times we all crave those home cooked meals. So I'll do a slow cooker meal on the weekend. This is a great summer slow cooker meal. You know how some slow cooker meals can like really feel like you're eating the same thing over and over and over again? Like, cool, this is like another bowl of schlop again. Not these recipes. So slow cooker creamy buffalo chicken bowls. So you're cooking the chicken in the slow cooker all day. Then when you're ready, you can make some rice and then don't skip, do not skip. If you use this recipe, you could look up whatever else, right? I'm just giving you some ideas to like, how to think through your week and then some actual like recipe ideas we made a it's not cucumbers it's celery <laughs> a celery salsa a celery salsa to go along with these bowls serve it with some avocado we haven't had this in so long i'm really excited and it's not spicy you could add more sauce in it if you want it to be even more spicy but it's not spicy my kids eat it it's perfect and then on sunday to finish off the week we are going to do a waffle bar so i love doing waffle bars serve it with like a side of fruit i also like to make sure that we have a protein so we'll usually do some scrambled eggs really easily to go along with it um and you could use the regular pancake mix waffle mix whatever and you could also use something like kodiak cakes where it actually bumps up the protein because if we're focusing our meals focusing our snacking around healthy fats healthy proteins um, and healthy carbs can stay in those bellies longer so they're not going to be begging you and asking you for more and more food at an endless rate. You know what I mean? Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Did you learn anything? Did you get some ideas on how to like mix a meal plan into your summer routine? Maybe even if you're just doing three nights of home cooked meals, that is going to be a huge win. I don't plan more than five meals any day of the, any week of the year, but especially in summertime, I tend to, um, we tend to be out and about and we budget and plan to eat out a little bit more, but we talk through all of that and you get it. You know what I mean? So let me know if you have any dinner ideas. If you are a member of our Eat Together app, because we've had hundreds of you already join. If you are already a member, I love to hear what are some of your favorite recipes that you've tried so far. Or if you have any requests that you would like us to add in there for you, we add five new recipes every single month. So um, put that down in the comments too. Alrighty, we will talk to you soon. And um, we're gonna chat down in the comments. If you haven't already, click subscribe so we can hang out more, learn this whole thing live together, and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.